So back to business <laughs> after a, a wonderful weekend. Is that is that how you're looking at it at the moment? Is it just a, a great chance to reflect on on the fun times and then do a bit of work? Yeah, again? I think. Look, it was a bit of a struggle coming back into <laughs> full on training this morning. Um, we, Scotty made sure he gave us a good little chat at the start of we're 12 weeks into pre season and looks like we're just about to start another one. I think so. Um, no, it has been really good. It was a great weekend, um, great month. Uh, now we can, I guess it's a good chance to get back into routine and start working on heat stuff. Is it fun being the centre of attention, Laura? Do you enjoy no, that? it's not my favourite. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's my favourite part. It's fun getting the giant chair that comes with it. <laughs> but yeah. um, the. Your throne. Yeah, no, I happily can be a sheep most days. <laughs> What about you, Grace? Were you able to uh, steal the steal the thunder at any point with a speech or two with the wind? Well, you know, in the months leading up, I was already had my eye on Pippa Middleton to overtake her as the world's best bride maid of honour or bridesmaid. And she tried her hardest, Adam. Don't worry. I definitely <laughs> ticked that box. Uh, <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> and if anyone needs a maid of honour, I'm up for up for any other wedding. <laughs> I can come up with anything on the spot. And um, leading into it, you know, I made sure I didn't change body shape. I was stressing for a little bit because uh, fabric for my dress only came in on Tuesday in the week before the wedding and picked the dress up Thursday and you know I set the bar really high for Piva so I was I just said you know mate you've got to whip this dress in to shape otherwise I don't reckon there was carbs <laughs> for the week before just so she could keep her dress otherwise I was in a bit of trouble but um no nah, took it took the uh took the opportunity and rolled with it it was good fun. <laughs> it sounded good fun, yeah. Um, and it looked like it was. Uh, you've managed to beat the weather. You've managed to get through uh, various various border closures and, and everything else. <laughs> yeah. uh, get the, get the day on, okay. and uh, you hope you're gonna have a, maybe a week away or a few days away at some point as a honeymoon. Yeah, we'll probably go to Tangaluma for a few days, I dare say, um, over the next week or so. The cricketer timed it just right to give us a week off. I don't know if that was around us or around scheduling, but either way, we'll take it, Dane. <laughs> um, and just have a relax for a few days. It'll be lovely. Very good. Mm. Um, are you going to be, the other big question, of course, that all the scoreboards need to know, are you going to be a Harris Commence, Commence Harris or Harris? Uh, well, depends on how... Or is it what the, is it the um, chances of Harris? our gear getting here are <laughs> <laughs> at this stage. It, I know they order them a long time in advance. If it works out, I guess that's just wait and see what happens. <laughs> that's a good non-answer. Like <laughs> 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 yeah, well, well, well avoided. Some well avoided. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So guys, without, um, without Beth, without Sammy Joe, you guys really will be stepping up in experience and responsibility this season, I gather. Yeah. How, do you, how do the two of Touch you feel about that? <laughs> we do that? Uh, no, I'm relishing the opportunity to, like, it's, I'm not really going to approach cricket any differently mm. because it's still the same game and we're off, like, we've got a win winning formula in how we play the game, obviously, um, how we've done it over yeah. the season. So now it's just simply about um, whoever takes the opportunity where there are vacancies. So obviously with um, Moons leaving, there's a vacancy at the top uh, as an opener. And Sammy Joe was a quality um, power play bowler and even a, a death over bowler with a change up. So there's opportunities there for um, like myself, Laura, even the younger ones that are coming through, um, but like someone like a Georgia Presswidge, if she signs again with us and and that kind of stuff. Um, we've got a lot of younger ones in our state squad who have an opportunity to sign with the Heat, considering we still have eight vacant spots at the moment. So it's whoever whoever jumps on and really has a crack at it and good on them. And then we're, we're obviously just going to try our hardest too to do the best that we can for the season. So yeah. I wouldn't write us off yet. Do you fancy uh, jumping back up at the top of the order? Myself? Mm. Yeah, I don't mind. Um, last season, was a bit of a challenge in the in the middle, and um, I, I didn't mind that. I, it's just simply about adapting to the role that I need to play within the squad, um, whether I'm a slogger up front or whether I can anchor in innings or, you know, if I'm coming into the middle order to consolidate after a few quick wickets or whether I'm coming in as a bit of a pinch hitter because we've started really well. So it's kind of yeah. just 
um, trying to adapt to the game scenario and then whatever the team needs me to do from there. And I'm, I'm learning a little bit more about that in the middle. Um, previous roles that I've had have just been, you know, Grace, you're up front and you're just having a, a slog up there and try and get the, the girls off to, or the team off to a good start and go, go hard and fast. And if, if you don't come off, then it doesn't matter because the, the next person that comes in can just kick on and, um, you know, it's, it's all good. But... Yeah, it's just about adapting your game, I guess. What about you, Laura? I mean, Knockers talks a lot yeah. about flexibility. We saw Sammy Joe yeah. jumping up to sort of three. Yeah. We've seen a little late audit finishes from you, but would you be comfortable with, you know, coming in at one wicket down with the, the order to sort of smash it around? Yeah, I think, um, just thinking about it, like I think the last couple of years the game has evolved so much um, on the women's side especially that it does allow for a lot more of that flexibility there. Um, and it goes a lot more on matchups of who plays better against who rather than just you find the teams sort of that have struggled more has been that set lineup of this is how we're batting yeah. and, and that's how it works and same with the bowling. Um, I think it's exciting uh, because you just never know you could go in at three or you could go in at seven. Um, that It just leaves it open that the more adaptable I guess you are at at just knowing your role and playing your role, um, the more success yeah. you'll have. So you're pretty comfortable with that idea? Yeah, I love it. I think um, it's exciting. It's exciting yeah. for viewers um, because they're also a bit on the edge of the seat of who's coming in next, what are they going to do. Um, and, it, and it's exciting for women cricketers to grow their game as well. Good shout. Yeah. Um, just on that thing, obviously you've had a, a role and each time when there's been a celebration at the end of a game with, mm. with winning runs and the like and you won't want to put that pressure on yourself again but you, <laughs> the whole side of that, you know, being able to you know, play what's in front of you and, then, and adapt to it has been probably the, the hallmark of the team, hasn't it, over the, over the last couple of years? Yeah, I think um, definitely for us two, especially are both players that aren't um, that great on the whole rules side of things. Um, it's just go out and and if it's there to hit, then hit it, and uh, I guess try and hold back. Don't if tell it's me not to there block. to hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're saying you're more sophisticated. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm really learning my game. <laughs> I'm really changing it up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think a lot of it um, now will just be who takes the best chance. I think even looking at all the teams, I said we sit down every now and then and go, oh, they've signed with them, and it's totally not left field but just more movement that you can, oh, like I don't think you could pick a favorite team mm. with how things are at the minute just because there's been so much movement it'll just be who comes out firing first.